Salary sacrificing, salary packaging comes with different names and it can bring with it some great benefits, but it can be incredibly confusing. Today, let me unwrap that for you. Hello everyone, my name is Ethan Rushok and today I'm gonna to be talking to you about salary sacrificing. You may know what salary packaging, probably just depends on the terminology you're used to. I'm gonna be talking about the benefits of it, what some of the risks are of it, where it might get a bit confusing. So I'll talk about things like hex debts, who can actually do it, and how much could it actually save you? The real basics of it is if say we've got $1,200 of taxable income for the week and we salary package $200 of that, that'll reduce our income down to $1,000 when it gets calculated from a tax point of view. So that $200 will essentially be tax free. So you can see that sounds very good. The downside to this is that we are quite limited here in Australia is who can do this, but there are some industries, so not for profits, that do allow this for most of their employees and can do it up to certain limits, which I'll get into. So that's gonna be my main focus, those that work in the not-for-profit industry that have access to salary packaging. I will touch on later on in the video about super, but that is a bit separate. So if you wanna to listen to that stuff, skip ahead to later on in the video. So my main focus is gonna be those that work for employers that are pretty much exempt from FBT, which is fringe benefits tax, which therefore will allow them to offer salary packaging, salary sacrificing to their employees. So there are limits. So I'll bring that up here, but there are two different caps. So one of them is $9,010 a year and the other is $15,900 per year. So check with your employer as to which cap you fall under. And while some other companies may offer it, it typically becomes more complex or more expensive on their end. So typically they won't offer it. And that's where you may be able to salary sacrifice into super. And as I said, I'll cover that later on in this video. So the real basics of it, those that work for those employers that allow them to do it, Typically, it is a good idea. It will put you in a better off position overall, but there's some things to understand of one, what you can do. We've already talked about those limits and then the dreaded hex debt situation. So I'll cover that in more detail. So I'll bring up some basic calculations here, but pretty much if you've got those two caps, one works out to be $173 a week and the other is $305 a week. And you're essentially gonna get those things tax free. So on the average tax rate of 34 and a half cents, which includes the Medicare levy, you're getting $59.68 of savings or $105 of savings per week. So you can see you're saving between $60 or $100 a week. So that's definitely gonna add up over a year and it wouldn't make sense to not do that. You're getting that income tax-free. You're not paying tax on it. So those tax that you would have normally paid is more money that's in your hand each week. Now the good thing about this is a range of things that you can salary package towards. So typically it will include loan repayments, it could include rent, credit card repayments, gym fees, bills, or what's really cool is a lot of them offer like a Visa card, for instance, that allows you to salary package onto that card and then you can use that card for whatever you want. So it's easy to utilize this money that's being salary packaged, it's not going to waste because you can use it on things you would have spent the money on anyway. So essentially you're getting tax-free money that you can spend on anything. Obviously everyone's situation is gonna be different and you need to get that advice but in a lot of these situations, it will make sense to do the maximum amount you're eligible for. Now, there are some other things you potentially could do, like there are some entertainment um, salary sacrificing benefits that are outside of these caps, or like I said about super, but they're a bit different for what I'm talking about today. Now, should you salary sacrifice if you've got a hex debt? Is a really common question I get as an accountant, and typically it's because a lot of the people that can salary sacrifice go into jobs such as healthcare or disability, where they may have gone and done study and therefore have got a hex debt, and straight away hear from others that, oh, don't do it because you're gonna end up with a tax debt. You don't wanna sacrifice if you've got hex. But I'm gonna unbunk that myth and explain why that myth exists and why it actually isn't that case. So salary sacrificing reduces your taxable income because we're taking taxable money and we're turning it into tax-free money and therefore it reduces that taxable income. The problem is that your hex debt isn't calculated off your taxable income, it's calculated off something called your adjustable taxable income. And this includes a gross up figure for your fringe benefits, which is your salary packaging. Now there's a couple different values here, which I'll show you. So the gross up value is either gonna be at 2.0802 or 1.8868. So a real basic way to think about it, it's going to be close to double what you've actually physically received. And that's where people get really confused when they see this fringe benefits amount on their payment summary or on their online income statement these days, because they're like, well, I didn't get that much. That's double what I got but that's the reason why, it's the gross up factor. So I'll run through a bit of an example here. So say you're normally on $70,000 a year taxable income 
and your salary package, the maximum 15,900 for the year. So it's gonna reduce your taxable income down to 54,100. So that's great because you're only gonna pay tax based on that figure. Now what's gonna happen here is you're going to have a reportable fringe benefits amount on your income statement of $30,000 because it's at 15,900 at the gross up rate of 1.8868. So we've got a taxable income of 54,100 and we've got a reportable fringe benefit amount of $30,000. Now, so what that means is your hex debt is going to be calculated on 84,100 because that's gonna become your adjusted taxable income. So you've got a taxable income of 54,100 and adjusted taxable income of 84,100. So you can see that's where it gets a little bit confusing because tax is calculated on taxable income Hex is calculated on adjustable taxable income. So are you better off? Let's have a look at the calculations. So what's gonna happen initially, you would have had $2,800 of Hex, whereas under this new figure, you have $4,625.50 of Hex. So an extra $1,825.50 of Hex repayment for the year. Now what's cool about this though, is you have saved $5,485.50 of tax. So you're still $3,660 better off by doing this, plus you've had additional amounts paid off your hex debt. So even if you come out square that your tax savings all went to additional hex repayments, you're still putting yourself in a better financial position overall because you're paying off your hex debt quicker. So the basics are if you do have a hex debt and you do salary package, you're still gonna be in a better financial position overall. But what might happen is that when they're withholding tax through the year, your employer, they may end up with a shortfall there because you're going to pay that additional hex repayment. So if you work out what that additional hex repayment is, get that taken out as extra tax, you'll put yourself in a better situation. You'll still be in a better cash position than if you didn't salary package. Now I did want to briefly touch on super because people hear of salary sacrificing and straight away equate that with super. It's a lot more complex. There are caps on how much you can put into super and there's a lot more that goes into the decision making. So while the basics of the tax savings by salary sacrificing are still similar, you need to consider whether putting money into super is really right for you and those types of things. So I definitely recommend seeking advice from a financial planner on that type of thing if you're a bit confused or speak to your super fund about that. There's also things such as the tax on super contributions. So when you're doing those calculations, that's another thing you'll have to factor in. I think overall, everyone's situation is different, but salary packaging when you can, when you've got that employer that will allow you to do it, typically will make sense. You can look into it if you've got other employers that aren't eligible for that, but might allow you to salary package a car for instance, but that's a whole different situation. You need to do a lot of research into that. And with any of these things, you need to factor in any fees. So even in the normal salary packaging, if you put it on a card, are you gonna get additional fees? How do they weigh up versus the tax saving? As I said, if you've got a hex debt, it is a little bit more complex, but in a lot of situations, you still will be in a better position. If you do get confused on it, go and speak to an accountant, speak to the ATO, or speak to the salary package company. Speak to all of them, get all their different views to make sure you have the full picture before you make the decision. Hope that's been helpful. Make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, check out some of the other content on my channel. I appreciate you being here and I'll talk to you again soon.